What's up, everybody, and welcome to The Scoop with Coop. I'm Coop. How y'all doing out there? I know it's been about, um, like, two weeks since I did a Scoop video, and, uh, yeah, so it's about time to do another one. I'm not going to do, talk about old stuff. We're going to talk about what's going on in the now. So, I want to start off this video, well, actually, it's going to be like a mixture of The Scoop and, uh, Love and Hip Hop review because I really didn't want to do a whole video on Love and Hip Hop because it was a lot going on on the reunion. So I'm just going to do like what I remember. So, but first, I want to start off this video by saying rest in peace to Michael Clark Duncan. If you haven't heard, he has, he passed away on yesterday. And if you didn't know, uh, it, it's been about a month. He had a heart attack and he never fully recovered. And so, yeah, he passed away. It's very sad. I remember him in um, Holiday Heart. Was that Michael Clark Duncan? No, that wasn't Michael Clark Duncan. Never mind. That was the other guy. Um, Not Holiday Heart, but the Green Mile. Yeah, so, and him and Amoroso was planning a wedding. They was planning to get married in January. And it's just so sad. So I keep them, his family and Amorosa in my prayers. Now, on a happier note, if you know me, you know I'm a Beyonce fan. So to my fellow Virgo, happy birthday, Beyonce. Today is a birthday, September the 4th. Mine is two days away. So happy birthday, Beyonce. I know she probably never see this video, but... I just want to say that because I am a big Beyonce fan. So, you, your birthday's today. Oh, let me stop. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, so happy birthday to Beyonce. Okay, like I said, it's going to be a kind of mashup video. So, be quiet. Hard one. Um, but, uh, let's see. It started off where it left off. Mimi and Jocelyn and Stevie J all um, on the stage still and he, he was asked do he really love did he really love Jocelyn Jocelyn and he was like yeah which we all knew he still have he have love for that girl um what else he's still talking about his bus uh they asked him at the end why was he always walking and he said because he didn't have a car um was that at the end? No, that wasn't at the end. That was during that segment. While he was always walking. It was a a, a question from the from a viewer. But yeah, um, so he said he didn't have a car at the time. So now he do. So what else? Um Jocelyn and Mimi got into it a little bit. Mimi was uh Jocelyn was uh reading her a little bit, <laughs> reading Mimi a little bit. She was kind of going off saying, um, um Jocelyn uh, you knew Stevie didn't have money when you first got with him and um, he was driving co your car and <laughs> Jocelyn said well that was for you to know and me not to find out that dog on Jocelyn she need her own show but I don't know if I could take her through a whole show cause you know it's kinda hard to follow what she's saying so that was that what else happened oh Scrappy proposed to Erica, which I thought was nice, even though his proposal was a little <laughs> ratchet. But he got his point across, and I'm glad that he um, took blame to the triangle he had going on with Shay, Bucky, and we're going to go back to Bucky. Bucky and Erica, he's like, you know, it was my fault. I didn't, you know, I shouldn't have brought, I'm sorry to bring you into this shade. It was me running, running from being a man. He was really, he was being a boy. So now he done kind of, you know, grew up a little bit. So he was like, you know, I'm tired of running out here with these women, which I hope is true. And he's proposed to her. He's like, you gonna marry a nigga? What? So... <laughs> Congratulations for Erica and Scrappy, and I'm happy for them. I wonder what Donna has to say about that. But she's in La La Land with uh, Soulja Boy. So, let's get back to Bucky and her hair. 
what, who, when, how, why, what, what, during the show, you know, people were saying she had too much weave, which I thought she did too. It was like, she had like five packs in her hair. It was just big. And I thought she was going to kind of redeem herself, you know, because, you know, they see comments during the season. So I thought she was going to kind of redeem herself during the reunion. Uh, that didn't happen because that hair was, <laughs> that hair. That's all I'm going to say is that hair. It was like a, I don't know what it was, but <laughs> somebody on Facebook did a picture of her and Howard the Duck side by side. Because if you remember the movie Howard the Duck, he had a little swirly swirls in the front of his feathers like she did. <laughs> Howard the Duck. But yeah, uh, Bucky, if you like it, go right ahead. So that was that. What else? Mama D said a pole does the body good. And I don't know why she hunting this queen. I am the queen on the throne. And Scrappy, he is the prince. Lord, Lord. You can't tell her she is not the queen of the south. And Scrappy is not the prince of the south. But she gave him a little Burger King crown. And he was like, oh, what is this? She was like, the pole does the body good. And, um, but... All in all, I'm going to miss, that was about it, you know. Uh, I think the breakout person of this season was Jocelyn. At first, everybody didn't like her. And then, as the season went on, people thought people started to like her because that's how I was. At first, I was like, this girl, oh, what? I didn't like her at the beginning. But now I do because Jocelyn is hilarious. So, that was that. Um, so, I'm going to miss Love and Hip Hop. Loving the the original Love and Hip Hop gonna come back on. I don't know who they're gonna have on there besides Emily, Samaya, Olivia. Because Chrissy got her own show, her and Jim, so I don't know about that. And T.I. and Tiny did start as well on um, Monday night. As always, T.I. gave me life. He had me laughing the whole show. So that was that. All right, let's get back to the scoop. All right. Terrence J and Roxy are counting down the days to when their uh, journey is over on 106 and Park. So now, um, Terrence J has been announced as the new co-host of E! News with, um, what's her name? Gra Graciela? Gra I can't pronounce her name, but if you watch E! News, you know who I'm talking about. So he's the new co-host and he's doing his thing so he's um he's gonna be in the sequel of I um, think like a man he's doing another movie in Paris he's shooting in Paris now so Terrence J is really coming up from um this 106 and Park thing I don't know what Roxy is doing all I know is she's dating Eddie Murphy so um congratulations Terrence J I'm happy for him I'm glad he's you know continuing his journey so that was, um, all right, Terrence J. Um, it's been said that, it's been rumored that Amber Rose, you know, she's pregnant about Wiz Khalifa. Then Wiz Khalifa's like, no, she's not pregnant. They both was like, we're not ready, but when we are, you know, we'll let you know. Well, she has popped up pregnant. Well, it's not, po well, she popped up, but she's kind of been wearing little frumpy clothes, like big clothes, like trying to hide her stomach. So, they have confirmed that they're pregnant. So, congratulations, Wiz and Amber Rose. And um, and it was an indication that she stopped dyeing her hair. That was an indication of her being pregnant. I guess you can't dye your hair when you're pregnant because of the chemicals. But, yeah, all right. So, that was that. Okay, so we know the Evelyn Lozado, Chad Johnson thing has been going on. So Evelyn has been doing this uh, kind of media tour uh, with this. Um, she's been on what? NBC. Uh, I, I only seen a little clip. Well, you know, Oprah wants the ratings. So 
She's going to be interviewed by Iyanla Van Zandt. That is one of, um, she has her own show on her own network. And, um, I don't know. Some people saying that, you know, I think she's doing this for sympathy. I don't, um, I kind of got mixed feelings about this. But it comes on, I think, this Sunday, the 15th. No, this Sunday is not the 15th. Next Sunday, the 15th. Um, so, I, I will be watching. I want to see, you know, what she's talking about. Of course, she's crying. Of course, she's talking about the whole thing. And on the clip, Yama asked her what she wants. And she's like, I just want to be loved. And whew, I don't know because, you know, the way Evelyn is on Basketball Wives. And I, I just don't know about that whole thing. But I'm going to watch the interview. And I will do a uh, review on that. It continues, it continues, it's getting uglier, it's getting uglier and nastier. I'm talking about the K. Michelle and Memphis, Memphis hits thing. So today it comes out that Memphis, Memphis hits is going to sue VH1 and Mona Me Entertainment, which is Mona Scott Young's entertainment group. So he says he's um, suing for assassination, usually it's defamation, but assassination of character and repairable damage to his reputation. Um, he's saying because of what K. Michelle is saying, you know, his re reputation is getting tainted and all that. And they said they wanted him to come on the reunion and they said, rumor has it that Toya said no don't go on there which I'm glad he didn't because that would have added more fuel to the fire so I'm glad he didn't go on the reunion show but he is suing I get this y'all know Love and Hip Hop had a lot of views so he is suing for one dollar per viewer per show that is a lot of money because like I said, Love and Hip Hop was one of the highest rated shows on VH1. So, <laughs> he said he is, he is defending himself and this is not revenge. So, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It, it could be revenge. He could, I mean, he could be defending himself. But, one dollar per viewer per show. I wonder, is it just the shows that K. Michelle was talking about, her incident? But she was kind of talking about it like every episode, kind of. So I want to see how this plays out. One dollar, I keep saying it. One dollar per viewer, per show. If he's he wins, he's going to get paid. He is going to be his naive, like all um, his little scrappy say, his little lingo. His naive, I don't even know if I said that right, but paid. But anyway, um... Yeah, that's the review slash scoop for today. And like I said, my birthday is in two days. Yeah, so yeah. So thank you for watching. If this is your first time watching and you like what you see, subscribe. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead and comment and follow me on Twitter at Scoop with Coop. Also on Instagram at Scoop with Coop. And I hope everyone have a nice day if you're watching it during the day or a nice night if you're watching this at night. So have a nice day or a nice night and God bless. Bye-bye.